if you hear various scrabbling noises going on in the background, that would be Zoe. My husband took the older dog to work and left her alone to annoy me at the shop all day. I don't know what I did to deserve this. Today I'm in the studio, I'm going to talk about two very important sewing techniques. One is pivoting on the needle when you reach a corner, and the other is tying down a point. Neither of these techniques is difficult, but if you do them at the wrong point in the machine rotation, you'll make a knot or break your thread and then you'll think they're difficult. I'm sewing a vamp onto a set of boot tops and vamp tongs have a lot of corners. The first row of stitching, I have to tie down all the points. I don't want these points to be peeling up as the customer wears them because that is ugly. What I'm going to do when I get to a corner, I'm going to take one stitch right in that corner all the way down, all the way up, just until the needle comes down again. And now I'm going to lift the presser foot move it over and since I brought the needle down a little I can see where it's going to pierce the leather. I'm going to position it to where it will be right on the tip of that corner. Now I'm going to let go of the lift, make the stitch all the way down, all the way up, coming down again, move it right back over, put it in the very same hole and pivot on the needle to head in the right direction. So again, I'm approaching the corner. I'm going to stitch right into the corner, all the way down, all the way up. Let it start to come down again so I can tell where it's going to pierce the leather. Move it so that it will come down right over that point, all the way up, all the way down, right back in that hole. Here's a pivot. We're going to come right into where we want to pivot, all the way down, just until it begins to raise. Pivot on the needle, redirect. Here we're approaching a place a corner where we're going to have to stop here and turn in a different direction. So we want to pivot on the needle. To do that we're going to go all the way down just till it starts to come up, not all the way up. Raise the lift and pivot. Now a lot of times students what they want to do here is redirect the whole machine so they can take this stitched and then they want to redirect the whole machine back this way. But you don't have to do that. The machine doesn't care which direction you're pointed at the time it makes a single stitch. So just come into the point right in the center, all the way down, all the way up, almost down. Move it over right over the tip of that point, all the way down, all the way up, almost down. Move it over, put it right back in the same hole. Pivot on it, and you're good to go. Here's another tip when you're sewing multiple items. You don't have to stop here and pull the thread out and cut it off and then start again. All you have to do is stick the other piece in and keep going. Now you're not wasting time and you're not wasting thread. While I'm talking about pivoting and tying down the point, I do want to mention one more thing. If you see me sew, you might notice that my hand is up here on the wheel. And I've been told by guys who sell machines that this is wrong and keep my hand off the wheel because I can control the, the machine with the, the feed alone and I don't have to put my hand on the wheel. 
This is starting to become really annoying to me because obviously they don't know what I'm doing and they haven't taken the time to find out. I have to have my hand on the wheel so that I can put the needle in the right position that I was telling you about when I'm pivoting or when I'm tying down a point. I'm constantly putting the needle in the position I need it to be in. And I can't do that with the pedal. It has to be precise and the pedal, while it is precise, it's not that precise. It is necessary to have your hand on the wheel at some point. You don't have enough control with the feet alone. Okay, Connor, you're yes. going to get to work on Arnold Schwarzenegger's boots. How do you feel about that? I don't really know how to feel about it exactly. <laughs> Are you scared? A little bit, yes. Yes, ma'am. But okay. excited. So what you're going to be do is put, doing is putting some additional pegs in here. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to punch the holes. Okay. Because it won't hurt it just to have a few extra pegs in here. Alright, so we've got the holes. Wow. And now what you're going to do next is you're going to take one of these wooden pegs and stick it in there and just tap it until it's seated. And once it's seated, you whack it. <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Go for it. Now, see that one's all crooked and yucky? Mm -hmm. Just throw that one on the You want to use the, the nice yeah, ones. Yeah, use the nice one. And if you bend it, if you break it off, then it's trash. Just throw it on the floor. Don't mess it up! <laughs> <laughs> is it seated? I think it is. I think it is? Oh, okay, gosh. now whack it all the way in. Oh boy. Oh no, I broke it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. It broke off. I know, it's fine. You sure? Yep, Try it on, throw it on the floor, try it on the Okay. should be fine. Okay, now if you manage to hit it exactly straight, it'll go all the way in. I'm going to go slow with it. Okay. That's what happens when you go slow. <laughs> Gosh. I can't do it. Once it's broken, it's broken. Try again. All right. Never say never. Oh, for 2. Let's try this again. Boy, I like that one. <laughs> Let's try this one. He's already getting opinions. <laughs> Okay, this time I just I gotta I, I can do it. I can do this. Come on, just take your time here. Five hours later, right? <laughs> I can't do it. I'm literally you, breaking. You gotta whack. You have to whack it. Yeah, try whacking it on the last one. All right. Just like whacking it. Yep. You gotta get go. the angle just right. <sighs> Looks easy. That it's hard. Not. I don't know why it's so hard for me to do. There's about 250 of these in this group. Okay. Just like straight down? Straight down. <laughs> Over four. She's going to have to do it. I can't do it. I literally. Over four. Okay, Connor, whose boot are you working on? Arnold's. Arnold Schwarzenegger's. This is unbelievable. And what did you say Arnold will say about his boot? I like. <laughs> <laughs> He'll never know there are four broken off pegs in there. Unless he watches this video. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Arnold. <laughs>